In the 1st of September 2021, Health Minister Kyrie Jamaluddin announced that Malaysia is expected to move from pandemic into the endemic phase for COVID-19 by the end of October. It is expected that in the endemic phase, we will be able to live with the virus. In this video, we will explain what the transition into endemic phase really means. We will use these figures to explain the concept. Each pink dot represents a region with active infection. At the peak of the COVID-19 disease, it is a pandemic. The spread of the virus is uncontrollable, with sudden increase in cases across the world. This is the stage that caught most country off guard, as the sudden increase in patients' number overwhelmed the healthcare facilities. Hospital beds were limited, patients could not get ventilator aid and doctors need to choose who they had to save. Fortunately, many countries have started their vaccination programs and successfully bring down the number of patients that need hospitalization and intensive care. In this stage, the country that has achieved high percentage of vaccination may still have many cases of active infection but most of the cases will be without symptoms or mild symptoms. Their healthcare system is no longer stretched to the maximum. However, for countries that are yet to complete their vaccination program, their healthcare system are still at critical level. This is a stage that we call epidemic. In epidemic, uncontrolled spread of the disease will be focused in certain regions or countries. When all the countries have completed their vaccination drives and bring the disease under control, we will see that some cases will still be present in certain regions. However, these cases are usually sporadic and low spread. The healthcare system is no longer under threat and patients who need medical support such as ventilator will be able to get them. Now, it should be clear that COVID-19 will only become an endemic disease when it is under control on a global scale. So, how could Malaysia transition into endemic phase if other countries are yet to complete their vaccination programs? When the term endemic and epidemic are used in a local scenario, we will define epidemic as a condition that the cases are clearly in excess of normal expectancy. In other words, COVID-19 will be considered endemic in Malaysia if the Ministry of Health deem the cases are not in excess of normal expectancy. As long as we are confident that our healthcare system is no longer under threat, we will be able to announce that we have transitioned into endemic phase. Do note that there is no clear standard that we need to comply to before entering endemic phase. Even if the daily new cases are high, as long as the Ministry of Health thinks the numbers are acceptable, Malaysia can announce that COVID-19 has become an endemic disease. So, what are the factors that will determine if COVID-19 will really become an endemic in a global scale? If vaccines and boosters are able to fully block transmission, and the vaccine coverage is wide enough to reach herd immunity, the virus will be eliminated in Malaysia. If the vaccine is unable to fully block transmission or herd immunity cannot be achieved in Malaysia, the virus will continue to circulate. Vaccinated people will likely to have mild to moderate diseases while unvaccinated people will be more likely to get severe diseases. As children are usually not vaccinated, COVID-19 may also become a childhood virus that will primarily affect children. However, if the virus evolved to escape the immune system, and we fail to produce new vaccine or booster that prevents severe disease, the virus will continue to circulate and cause severe illness, even for vaccinated people. Finally, we need to consider the possibility of animal reservoirs. As the virus is most likely originated from bats, it may spread to local bats populations or other animals. In that case, even if we successfully eliminate the virus from our population, the virus could spill back into people and cause future outbreaks. In our next video, we will talk about the role of complementary medicine such as Chinese medicine in the era of COVID-19 pandemic. If you enjoy the information that we share, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when our next video is ready. By giving us positive feedback, you will help to promote our videos so that more people will be able to receive correct information regarding COVID-19 and other health analytics. If you are interested in vaccine and infectious diseases, you might be interested to join this short course in immunology and infection. You can complete the course in three to six months and the course is conducted fully online. For more information, please scan the QR code or refer to the link in description. If you prefer a full master degree instead of short course, you can join this program. You can complete the whole master program in one to two years via online or mixed modes. For more information, please scan the QR code or refer to the link in description.